Okay, today we're going to look at a circle and specifically the equation of a circle. So I put this circle on a coordinate plane. We can see that this circle has a center here that is at the origin. The center of this circle is zero, zero. And uh, we're going to, and it has a radius. We do not know the length of the radius. We're not going to worry about that quite yet, but there's our value for R. Now, as I'm looking for this circle and I'm trying to find its equation, we're going to go back to our old friend, the Pythagorean theorem. Let me show you what I mean. Because if I go, that radius of the circle is actually a hypotenuse of this right triangle. You can see that radius. I drew it a little crooked, but it's the hypotenuse of that right triangle. And that right triangle has two different things. It has an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. In fact, I can say that this side of my triangle has a value of x, and this one went at a value of y, and then that guy, in this case, to the point 2, 2. So 2, 2 is the radius of that circle, or I could always call that the point x, y. Now, the reason I'm talking about x, y is because there's lots of different points that are the same distance from that circle. There's 2, 2, for example. There's another point over here, that's also a different x, y coordinate. In this case, my value for x and y would be negative two and positive two. There's other points like this one here that might even have a decimal value that are the same distance from the circle. So I have lots of different x, y points that are the same distance from the center of the circle. The reason I point this out is this is going to show us where the formula for a circle comes from. Because if I want to find this length of the radius, I'm going to use my Pythagorean theorem. So here goes my Pythagorean theorem. We'll write it in blue, I think. My Pythagorean theorem would be how long it would be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So it's one side of the triangle plus the other side of the triangle equals my radius squared. And that is going to be your how I could find the radius. So in this case, since x and y are both 2, I could do 2 squared plus 2 squared equals r squared. And I would come up with a value of 4 plus 4 is 8 for r squared. So it's true that 8 is r squared, or I could say r is the square root of 8, or I could even simplify that but, um, to 2 point something. So I think it's about it's 2 point whatever. We're not worried about finding the exact decimal value of the radius today. So what we're going to have is this formula here. I wanted to know what r squared was with my specific point 2, 2. I found out that r squared was equal to 8. So my final answer for the equation of the circle would be x squared plus y squared equals 8. Because 8 was equal to r squared, I can replace the r squared with an 8. And that gives it, you're like, well, what if I would have put in the square root of 8? Well, if I would have put in the square root of 8 and squared it, that would have also given me a positive 8. So that's where the formula for the equation of a circle comes from. We're going to go through a couple more examples of this to help you catch on. Okay, the first thing I hope you've noticed about this circle is that it has a different center. It is no longer centered at the origin, and this circle here has a center of 1, 1. So the center of this circle is 1, 1. And uh, I can also, on this circle, I could still have a radius. I could still draw myself a little triangle if I wanted to. Where my triangle, I'll even draw it here. I would go, you know, basically out to here and then straight down and straight over. So it would make a triangle something like that. I drew my triangle a little bit crooked this time, but let's see if I can't fix that up a little bit. So you can see you have a right triangle, and I need to find the value of this side of the right triangle. Now, I still go over a certain distance, but this time I want you to notice, if I call this point up here x, y, my length of my triangle, I have not gone all the way from this point here in the corner from my zero point to x. I've just gone from this point here, one to x. So this distance is not as long. It's not all the way to x, but it's between x and one, between that center point. So my equation I'm gonna have here is x minus one, we'll do this in blue, 
And then the same thing on Y. I have not gone all the way from my point Y here all the way down to uh, my zero point to the origin. I've only gone down this far. I haven't gone all the way down to zero. I just went down to one. So I'm also going to have a Y minus one because the two sides of my triangle are not X and Y because if my triangle was X and Y, it would be this thing I have here in light blue that would go all the way down and all the way over back to the origin. But it just goes to one one. So it's actually this smaller triangle that I'm shading in yellow that has a length of between X and one, X minus one, and a length of between Y and one, Y minus one. I'm still using the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm gonna have my X squared and my X distance which is between x and one plus my y distance squares between y and one equals my r square. And uh, to figure out your r square, uh, we're gonna need to know what our radius is. Now, like I said, we don't really know the value of this point, it's not on the exact value, but you notice this point here, we can tell exactly where it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to basically count and say how far is that point on the top of my circle from, my radi uh, from the center. And you can look and see it's a distance of two. So my radius is equal to two. So that means I can plug in my radius into my equation and get an X minus one squared plus Y minus one squared equals two squared or four. And then that would be the equation of this circle. And the truth is, if I find any other point on this circle, it'll satisfy this equation. For example, this point here, the point um, negative one, positive one is on the circle. So if I plug in a negative one for X and a positive one for Y, it should be in the circle. I'll do this in purple right below. Negative one minus one squared plus one minus one squared equals four by plugging the negative one in for X and the positive one in for Y. This part becomes a zero. This part becomes a negative two squared. So since negative two squared is equal to four, we can see that that uh, circle equation works not only for the point I used up here to get the radius, but for any other point that I could plug in on the circle. And even points I do not know, I can figure out by trying to solve that equation, which we won't get into that today. Now, uh, what I want to show you is the formula for the equation of a circle that you might see in your book. The formula for equation of a circle that you'll see in your book is this here. Uh, we'll do it in uh, purple over to the side. It's X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. But you notice it's based on the Pythagorean theorem because this is the distance of one side of your well, leg of your triangle. This is the distance of the vertical leg of your triangle. And then R square is the distance of your hypotenuse of that right triangle that you can draw from the center to the edge of the circle. And when you do this, you just need to remember what the variables stand for. R stands for your radius. And then the point HK is your center. So we've already worked a little bit with equations of a circle, but I'm gonna help you a little bit more. We'll do uh, one or two more of these together and we'll make them a lot like the ones in your homework assignment.